Wow, we have got the GTO of all GTOs. This is a car from our Elite Collection, 1965 GTO. It's had a complete ground up custom build, all custom chassis, independent rear suspension, 700 horsepower, all the fine luxuries, uh, power windows, leather upholstery. This thing's got it all. Supposedly $400,000 was spent building this car. It was a SEMA feature car. Um, we got a lot more to tell you about. You can also go to volocars.com where you can read all the information because there's no way I'm going to remember all of it. Uh, and that's where you find a price tag on every car along with a monthly finance option as well. That's at volocars.com. But right now that tops down. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, where do I start? I'm kind of overwhelmed right now. It's like studying for the Constitution. There's so much to know and remember about this car. Uh, but we'll walk through it together here. The fit and finish is absolutely outstanding. Uh, this was a high-end shop, DWS, that redid the car. I went on their website. There's pictures of it, along with some other really high-end builds. Uh, the story goes was one owner for 40 years. He drove this car. He used it. It was an everyday car for a long time. And then he decided, you know what? I'm going to completely build the best 65 there is. It's such a high-end build, it has artist rendering drawing, uh, which I put on our website, uh, the concept of what it was going to look like before they even started. So I guess it goes without saying, the body fit and finish is laser beam straight. Gaps are precise as can be. And it's funny, I say every convertible will crack right here, including this one. The best of the best has that small crack. That's where there's a seam, convertibles twist and flex. But the glass finish is beautiful. It's like, like I could reach right in there. It's so deep. The color is all uniform. It's not blotchy. It's not mismatched. It's a gorgeous color. Uh, the painted on pinstripe uh, just glides down the car. Absolutely straight. No rust, no bubbles, no issues, no dents. Uh, nothing that I had seen anyway. And it's got some nice sparkles, some really tiny sparkle almost like someone's hitting a button and lighting them up as it goes around here it's beautiful up front all the chrome and trim is all restored you know like original it's all show quality uh, plating even has t3 original style headlights in there all the stainless has been buffed and straightened professionally all the glass is replaced as a light smoke tint on the uh, side glass all the chrome, every piece is outstanding, buffed, polished, straightened, rocker moldings. Look how this thing slammed down. This is not air ride. This is its stance. It does have adjustable coilovers in it. You could raise it up. Uh, Caleb just did his test drive, and he says the tires did not rub uh, at all. Uh, so, yeah, the stance is incredible. Custom Budnick wheels, much taller and uh, fatter in back than in front. Again, all the specs, the size of the wheels, all that, all going to be on our website. This whole tail panel, the tail light uh, bezels, all that's restored to show quality. It has a black canvas convertible top boot and also a black canvas convertible top. There's pictures of that on our website as well. So why don't we open it up? We're just getting started here. I got a lot more to tell you. Okay, this car comes with an added bonus feature. When they first built the car, they had this eight stack Hillborn uh, injection system. Real cool system. I'm sure this is worth a pretty penny right here. It actually stuck right through the hood. Uh, for whatever reason, the uh, previous owner decided to take it off. I don't know if it wasn't working properly or didn't like the look of it coming through the hood. Uh, he has since put that giant holly. It's running perfectly now. Uh, replace the hood so this will be included with the car if somebody decided they want to put it back or heck put it on eBay and sell it I'm sure it's worth thousands of dollars the paint by the way is uh, House of Colors candy red beautiful color so of course underneath the trunk lids painted just as nice as the car new weather strip you can see it's all boxed upholstered red stitching carpeted floor I would bet that there's some stereo components mounted behind there. 
The wheels are 20 inch in back, 18s in front, Budnick wheels. Custom interior, uh, one of a kind made for this car and used in this car only. You can see the custom molded door panels. They use the machine turn trim throughout the interior um, as black leather with red suede, red stitching. It carries right onto the dash pad, the red stitching, the machine turn trim. Really cool set of gauges, really flows with the theme and the colors. Uh, very simple controls, neat and clean. Got a little glove box compartment. Custom uh, kick panels, speakers are hidden behind it. You have a touch screen stereo, a low car shifter. It's a six speed automatic. We'll talk more about that in a little while. Here's the hidden controls, uh, your power windows, ignition. Uh, you have bass boost, so there's subwoofer in the back auxiliary plug and then this here if you're wondering what it is it's simply it's an armrest but boy it works good i first thing i did is put my arm there and nice so custom console front to back uh, bucket seats very nice contoured uh, leather suede red stitching uh, there's like racing style uh, seat belts front and back for everybody uh, bucket seats in the back because it's split up with the center console uh, side panels, you can see for yourself, it's all upholstered and stitched and uh, done at really a uh, high level quality workmanship as well. You know, custom pedals, all custom wiring, uh, Budnick steering wheel with the you know, red stitching around it on a tilt column. It's a really luxurious, super nice interior, red stitching on the visors. So yeah, check out this engine compartment. That's actually a Merlin all aluminum engine. Um, it is a 565 cubic inch. There's this company, PFAFF. -F. They take, they specialize taking built Merlin engines, taking them apart and refining them. So the aluminum engine is even ground smooth and polished. It's not even got burrs or any rough finish. All aluminum engine. Heads, intake, big dual feed Holly carb under there, MSD ignition. Here's the company that built the engine, 700 horsepower. See the wires are run neatly. Uh, it's got headers, the firewalls all smoothed out, all premium fittings. <clears throat> Custom made inner fenders, they're all aluminum. Uh, you got a transmission cooler here with an electric fan. You got a polished aluminum radiator with dual electric fans. You have hard uh, hoses, radiator hoses, all the billet march brackets, uh, pulleys with the serpentine belt, polished aluminum water pump, power master alternator. You got a hydro boost power steering and power brake system with all stainless braided wires. It has the nice billet hinges. Of course, it's all painted up real nicely. And wait till Caleb takes you for a ride in this thing. It sounds amazing. I wish I could go with. See you soon. are in for a treat. This is the 65 GTO. We're taking her around the block. We're going to show you how she drives. Again, this was a no expense spared SEMA build, so I'm expecting it to ride really nice. I'll be straight with you. I can't even feel the bumps right now. It definitely feels like I'm in a new vehicle. So. Steering feels good. We got the top down, even though it's cold out because this car is too beautiful to have the top up on it. So we're going to bear with the cold, but 
Feels really good so far. Steering's nice and tight. Brakes are phenomenal. They're super smooth, guys. It drops down in idle perfectly. I got the heat on. Let's see what she does. Woo! Now this is an awesome car. We're cruising 60 miles an hour like it's nothing. I'm sure it can do much more than that, but wow, what a smooth ride. I mean, I'm telling you guys, this is definitely one of the best. Turn signals do light up and they cancel. Wipers work. I got the radio on. This has a nice stereo system in it with Bluetooth. So that's functional. Yeah, just overall nice and neat build. And the color, you can't get enough of this color. I wish it was sunny so you could see it in the sunlight, but our turntable does it justice. Yeah, there you have it, guys, the 65 GTO. The car was done around 2015. Actually, that's when it went to the SEMA uh, show as part of the Car Crazy special showcase. Uh, it's also participated in a few other events uh, since then. That's all listed on our website. And I tell you what, only 1,500 miles, this car needs to be driven because it really rides, runs, drives as good as it looks. This car deserves to be out and used. So underneath of it is an Art Morrison custom chassis. It was all powder coated, the same color. All the floors are pristine, uh, painted the same color, but in a chip guard, the color matched it. So everything underneath there is beautiful and is fresh looking. Uh, disc brakes, Willwood disc brakes at all four wheels. They say they're even six piston calipers in back. Usually that's only in the front, but yeah, that does look like a six piston caliper. Giant drilled and slotted uh, rotors. Uh, body was on a rotisserie, of course. Now I'm gonna read some of the information here. Uh, Detroit Speed tubular independent suspension. Uh, back is a strange engineering independent suspension. Really wild, I've never seen that in a GTO. Uh, and everything is polished, detailed, coil over shocks, all four corners, um, low car performance e-brake, uh, custom ceramic coated full three inch exhaust with uh, H-pipe, uh, Magnaflow resonators, four of them, custom gas tank is fitted in there, all new braided fuel lines, uh, inline pump, uh, polished oil pan on the bottom of the motor, polished, um, like the scatter shield, TCI 6L80E electronic automatic, uh, 411 gears in the back. It looks like a Dana center section, a heavy duty center section. And just every part of this car has been touched, modified, made better. Uh, and it, it all turned out really well. I've seen cars where they throw them together for these shows and you pull up part of panel and it's just wires or doesn't function. It's just made to look amazing. This car looks and performs uh, amazing at every level. No disappointments in this car. It's got the looks, it's got the stance. It would cost every bit of 400 to build. They claimed it built, it cost 400 back then. I, I would say so. Today, they're building cars for a million dollars to compete at these big shows. Uh, so it's one heck of a value, one heck of a car. I'm done talking. The car speaks for itself. Go to volocars.com. Salesmen can help answer whatever questions you still have, uh, including the help with the financing and getting this delivered to your door. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon. You'll be notified when the next video is posted. Thanks for watching.